Hello everyone, I'm delighted to join this year's Learning Planet Festival to celebrate learning to take care of oneself, others, and the planet. And on the occasion of the International Day of Education, many thanks to the organizers for their warm invitation. My name is Lord Leomar Bompirada, and I'm the current president of the World Youth Alliance. As a brief introduction, the World Youth Alliance is a global movement of young people in over 200 countries and territories. Our members promote the dignity of the person through policy and culture. Today is a very special day as we celebrate the International Day of Education. A large part of our work in the organization is educating our members about human dignity. The World Youth Alliance Charter recognizes that the intrinsic dignity of the person is the foundation of every human right. This dignity is not earned and cannot be taken away. It is inherent in every human being from the earliest moments. Human rights are an authentic expression of solidarity, which is the spirit of brotherhood, recognized in the Universal Declaration on Human Rights. This solidarity enables us to recognize that human flourishing can only be realized through cooperation with others. Freedom must be exercised with the reason and conscience the Universal Declaration on Human Rights calls for. We at the World Youth Alliance believe that the freedom of the human person is most fully and rightly lived in the gift of ourselves to others. The theme of this year's Learning Planet Festival is learning to take care of oneself, others, and the planet. And I think that this is a very important and relevant topic for us to talk about. I would like to share some of the initiatives that our organization and members have been doing this past couple of months to support their fellow young people, to help each other, and to bring young people together in solidarity especially during this challenging time. First is through our training programs. One of them is the Certified Training Program, a free online course that helps young people learn more about human dignity and human rights. This past year, we had over 200% increase in our global enrollment and high attendance in our weekly online classes across the world. And this shows the eagerness of young people to participate in online learning and to meet other young leaders. Another training is the Advocacy Academy, a free training course that aims to equip young people with the knowledge and skills to promote human dignity through policy and advocacy work. Second is through our Human Dignity Curriculum Program, or the HDC. It is an innovative program that focuses on personal development and human dignity. With a focus on striving for excellence, each lesson focuses on a big picture theme while helping students to understand and develop healthy habits, good decision-making skills, and a strong sense of meaning and purpose. The HTC is available from kindergarten to grade 12, and I'd like to share some of the quotes from our students. One of them shared with us after completing the program that I'm beginning to understand that it is through my actions that I reveal my character. If I'm a good person, it also inspires others to do the same. Another student of ours, a uh, third grader, shared with us that human dignity is the reason why I can be the best I can be. And the third is through our World Youth Alliance blog. WIA members wrote reflections about the COVID-19, their various initiatives in their own communities, and ways on how they are able to overcome the different challenges that they're currently facing. These stories have allowed our members to express themselves and to share their stories to other young people all around the world. And it's really been inspiring to read all of their stories. One of them wrote, as young people, we are living in a very different technological era. Generations like those of our parents and grandparents had few friends or very small circles. However, 
there are days where I wonder if true friends exist, if close people are one like more or acquaintances in adventures. How do we identify those true friends? As young people, we should try to cultivate and find real friendships, get to know people and their true value. What is the use of having thousands or millions of followers or friends in networks if at the end of the day, they feel lonely and have no one to vent or healthily have fun, talk about any subject without falling into offense, or the simple fact of having a good time together without being uncomfortable. We should go out to meet friends, consider the true friends that remain only in social networks, they transcend and even though they do not talk to each other daily, they will be there when they are needed. Isn't that something that every young person could relate to? As we celebrate the International Day of Education, we are glad to share some of these achievements and we are proud of our members for their active volunteerism, for their commitment to the mission of WAYA, and for making a difference through their own little ways. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, online learning and building friendships have proven to be challenging. However, our members have shown us that building friendships knows no boundaries, especially with development in digital technologies. They've also learned that online learning can be a powerful tool to make a difference. When I work with our members, I feel so inspired that really we can make a difference in this world. If you'd like to learn more about our programs, you may visit our website, wya.net, or follow us on social media. Thank you very much for your kind attention. And once again, happy International Day of Education.